so I just want to talk for a little bit like I was saying before we had like a really long day Poopoo has um, a little fever um, we're all pretty much exhausted I feel a lot better though than what I was feeling so with the hotel I don't know what we're gonna do um, my channel is going to be about the truth so if you just want rainbows and sunshine this is not the channel for you you're going to get the good the bad and the uglies um and it's a good environment this airbnb where this airbnb is like i said it's in the bush so it's not it's very quiet there's a like a resort beach not too far away from here um that we can walk to and there's just like little <laughs> local shops or huts or not huts but like i don't know what to call it like little uh buildings that you make and you sell your items out of this is a store but it's not the kind of stores that we're used to um, back home um, and we seen a lady she was doing her doing hair they have like several different barber shops for the men um, they have like little small little market just to get like the necessity maybe you need some margarine or you need water or you need like toothpaste or something for the baby or whatever some like small things like that but it's not big to where you get a whole variety of items um and then there's a lot of people selling their fruit on the side of the road it was really nice seeing uh the cows and the, um, the sheep and the goat just grazing mommy mommy goats and babies and they were just doing their own thing and was nobody messing with them and the owner you know they know who they probably know who uh those animals belong to and nobody was just trying to kidnap the animals or take them or nothing they was just out eating and then going on about their business but um so that was really nice and it's late so i'll show you guys the property tomorrow but I don't think this one is going to work out for us because it does not have any Wi-Fi and my husband, Buki, he is in school, so he needs the Wi-Fi. And one reason why he's so exhausted today is because he was up until, um, really he was up all night because then the kids woke up. So he was doing homework from like 8 p.m our time he has four classes until three in the morning and then right when he was about to you know relax and lay down the kids woke up and was up until the actual morning and molly went to sleep at let's say around 10 she took a nap in the morning a.m so she's up from three or so or before that until 10 in the morning and then poo poo woke up and she then stayed up all day long until about three o'clock this afternoon so i think that's why she has like a little fever just adjusting um to the new time zone and the climate and all of that it's a lot on the little body and um about i just want to talk a little bit about the first hotel we stayed in so out here in Dar es Salaam is um a lot of muslim um uh, people who are muslim and culturally they use bidets i'm sitting on top of the toilet y'all i'm in the bathroom i'm not using it i'm just in here because the kids are asleep and that's what it looks like well 
they act like they didn't want to give me no toilet paper. They have toilet paper. Let me see if I can show you. But I drink a gallon or over a gallon of water a day. On top of that, I didn't have two children, so I have to pee like every five minutes. And I like to be clean. So I like using my toilet paper. Culturally here, they don't, they do use it, but they use the bidet. So if it was my bidet in my own home, I wouldn't have a problem using it, but I don't know who's behind has been on it or if it's been properly cleaned or sanitized. And I could, you know, very well clean myself, but I don't have any disinfects right now with me. And I just don't, um, I'm not going to use it. So that's something that happened. Um, and Boogie's like, just use the baby wipes. No, we pay for a service, and I'm all about getting my money's worth in the service that I should be given, you know, given. Um, and I understand there's a cultural difference and all that, but give me my dang on toilet paper. We didn't pay for this expensive hotel. Okay, so, and then two, um, a heads up for you guys who are coming out here who have sensitive skin. Um, the water is not treated or whatever so you can't drink it and if you do have sensitive skin it might irritate your hoo-ha and that's what it did to me so if that's tmi i'm just letting you know heads up the same thing happened when i visit hawaii i visited hawaii quite a few times and the water is hard out there same thing happened to me when i went to louisiana in the country the water is different so it's not just an East Africa thing, a Tanzanian thing, no. I had issue with water in the States also. Like I said, Louisiana, um, when I went to Hawaii, and uh, what else did I say? Oh, out here, and I don't know if I had an issue with it in Washington State, but I did have an issue with my skin in Washington State, so. That's just something to be aware of. So you might have to, you know, wash your body regular with the with the water, but wash your um, vagina or your butt or your penis or whatever with bottled water and soap. Um, and then also here, I'm very disappointed with um, just, I don't know how to say it nicely, but there was like some false advertisement. There's supposed to be Wi-Fi. There's not Wi-Fi. And, uh, you know, like I was telling you guys before, the issue with uh, which room are we supposed to get? Oh, this one's supposed to cost more. And no, if it was supposed to cost more, guys, it would have been, it would have loaded it up when you add your people to your room for the Airbnb or whatever. So, and then, it is, I don't know, you guys. Um, like I was saying before, we're driving around and around and around trying to find the place. And so the sun's supposed to be here tomorrow to come talk to us. Okay, that's fine. But we're going to have to make um, some other arrangements. And I'm going to need my money back, sir. So, yeah. But, um and having all this trouble with trying to get this Wi-Fi on on our phone. But it is a nice place. Um, I hope to have a place like this one day in like a hotel or whatever, or Airbnb. And they have two really nice rooms and the other rooms are just like basic rooms. But I think it's like about eight of them or something. But it's still nice and the property is nice too. Um, yeah, but even though we've had some hiccups, some bumps in the road, I still take the good with the bad. Um, we had a really nice Uber driver who speaks English um, and he took us around and everything and we just paid him extra for the day. Like, um, so that's something 
two I want to just mention briefly and I'll do probably another longer video about it but what would be very helpful if we had a bridge here in Africa um, and that's for all the African countries not just here in Tanzania that we have a host family or someone who speaks English who can relate to us and who can guide us into the culture um, and help teach us Swahili or whatever dialect or language it will be in the other countries to make our transition a little smoother and maybe that's a business um, I can start and also like for the um, Uber drivers are um, they have like these little I don't know what it's called. It's like a little cart. It's like a taxi, but not a taxi like we have at home. We rode in one, and it'll be in this video. Um, or a person who drives one of those who can drive you around all day, and you pay them per month or per week. You know, a personal driver. And like I said, someone who is English-speaking, who can bridge that gap between us and the locals, to to get things done because like we're still very jet lag excuse me we're, we're we are still very jet lag from our flight in all those hours you know time changing and whatever so hopefully this coming up week will be better you know with our flow and everything but i'm gonna have to find probably a, a, another airbnb so yep until next time guys